Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Open SCOM. Tear from the Deep. And we have gotten um, into a little pickle. Um, we are um, being attacked. So, uh, not sure what to do. Let's put some grenades in some hands. So I know what everybody's got. And if you don't have something, then well, you better find something, basically. Starting with Kikaskia has nothing. He's gonna have to go upstairs. Let's do that first. Let's put you upstairs while it's safe in the hallway. Um, Christoph, Christopher, you also have nothing. You're going to need to go upstairs as well. Hopefully you'll be able to find something. Fiona, I don't believe you have been named, but um, there doesn't seem to be any weapons in your room. There is a sonic pulser this way. If you run you over there, you might be able to get there in time. Probably not. Um, yeah, some na unnamed rookies. Uh, Sumi is right here. She is going to be going to have to stay there. Um, Well, at least Kikaskia has found a pistol. 12 units, 44 units. This guy right here, he'll stay right there for now. You probably want to get that grenade. Okay, let's not prime anything yet. We might just be starting to panic. But uh, now we need to get uh, people on the front lines. Let's move you back. No reason to have you sitting out in the hallway there. And Ensign X Racer, just keep that grenade sitting right there. And we'll have Commander Moriarty come this way. And True Crisis this way as well. And I guess we could have the Gentleman Gamer Primer Grenade and sit. For this turn. Okay, we have to be very careful about what we do here. Okay, there are many aliens this way, so let's just simply open that and take an auto shot down this hallway. Come on. That was pretty awful. Hmm. Gentleman Gamer, why don't you move back? Try not to get you killed, but... But... Let's do this. Fuck you, Java. Fuck you. Making my life difficult. 18 time units. I think we got enough time to go up, duck, and chuck a grenade. There. That was pretty damn successful, I must say. CP uh, Gentleman Gamer here is not even hurt. Doesn't even have enough time to peek around this corner and not see anybody good. Wow. That went better than I expected. That was at least three aliens killed. You also don't have a weapon. Why don't you come up here? And who else have we not moved yet? Dr. O'Lira. You don't have a weapon, but that's okay. That's okay with me. I'm going to need you to go this way, sir. Yeti has not figured out yet that this, uh, this doesn't work. So uh, why don't you just hold on to that grenade there. You might need to toss it up to the front lines. 
And Battle Bunny, same with you. We need to get you up to the front lines, buddy. Let's just go as far forward as you can. Master Empire is being over ambitious here. You got two grenades in his hand. He's uh He's got the order hors d'oeuvres, he's ready to host a party there. Okay. Let's see here. Is anybody upstairs? You need to get upstairs. You need to get upstairs. Who else doesn't have time units left? I thought I told you to go upstairs as well. There you go. Yeah, you just... Um... Oh, there's a door right there! Wow, that's... That's actually good. That is actually good. Okay, I think... Civilian may be in danger here. Civilian may be in danger. Who else needs to go? Are there any other weapons up here that we can pick up? Yes. Also, Magna Pack explosives. So, yeah, you might want to throw that next turn. Is that primed yet? No. You're going to want to throw that here next turn. We got X Racer. I don't want him really peeking out yet. True Crisis, he's ready to fire down that hallway in case anything comes by. And, um. Okay, so. Yeah, Kikoski has found a pistol. That's not going to help us. He's also found a medikit, which isn't very useful. What is this thing? What do we got over here? Aha! That's much better. Pick, we'll pick that up next turn, Kikoskia. Next turn. Okay. I think everybody is gone. Robin needs to get downstairs. I think he actually picked up a grenade last turn, or maybe he started up there. I can't remember. Moriarty's going to sit there. Falco can come around the corner. I'm taking this very, very slowly. Very, very slowly. Mainly because I don't want to start over again. Okay, I think that's good. Let the aliens have a turn. We did, we did get them pretty good. That wasn't too much of a turn by the aliens. Nothing there. Do you see one? Do you see one? I do see one. Can you see him from there, civilian? You cannot. You have an auto shot of 22. I need you to get up here. I don't know if you can see him from there. You can't. Well, I'll tell you what. Here's the deal. 25 to prime, 12 to throw, you have 31 time units, that's not quite enough. Can you throw it there? You can, you can throw it there, very good gentleman gamer. Very, very good. Very, very good. I do not dare to say that this is going well yet, but we are actually being a are able to fight them, and so far they have not done much to us. So, Kikaskia, I did say that you were going to pick this up this turn. And that's probably going to be perfect for you. And unnamed rookie um, some random ammo there. Not very much help. 
also not very much help. A sonic pulser, that will be that'll be handy. Why don't you pick that up? I don't even know these people's names. They're just hanging around the base. Everyone at XCOM has a real name, but no one knows uh, anybody's real name. These people haven't even gotten name tags printed for them yet, and here they are defending the base. Who knows what's going to happen. Athenor is fully loaded. He's ready to go. That's a grenade waiting to happen right there, I'll tell you that. But I don't think that uh, the aliens will get that far this turn. Let's move up a little bit here. I must say that the uh, Terror from the Deep Ace is a little bit... I would say it's a little easier to defend. There's more doors in Terror from the Deep than there are in normal... Um, than the normal XCOM base. And at least the walls are made of metal. Because I'm pretty sure in the other one they're made of uh, drywall unreinforced drywall or also cardboard but the uh... apparently in tear from the deep there's a lot of water around the base so cardboard does melt fairly easily that went well those people just got murdered so um... Ensign KKMIC, otherwise known as KMIC, will um, avenge those deaths and destroy the gentleman gamer in the process and not even get that guy. How brilliant is that? We also have someone who... Um, We also have someone who's uh, not feeling too good, I must say. Not feeling too good at all. Can you see someone from there? Wow, that's actually really impressive. Is this primed? It is not. Is this primed? It is not. But, probably prime and set. Can I? Can I not prime and set? I can prime and set, except for I wanted to say I want to prime and um, step. Unfortunately, Dr. O'Leary will have to um, violate his oath for a second uh, due to the fact that uh, we do need to take out this alien right here. Thank you, Dr. O'Lear. I bet you never thought you'd actually get a kill, but you're probably going to die from our friend here. I don't even know what that is. Who that is. I kind of want to kill him to save Dr. O'Lear. But it is possible that he might not actually... Um, You're out of time units. True crisis. 25. What if I um, did this and ran over there? 18. No, not enough. Just hide. Just hide. Okay, who else have we got? You guys, it's not really that bad. I don't know why they're panicking. Um. We just kind of had a little friendly fire incident. It's really not that big of a deal, you know. Um, oh, Kikoski was ready to come back downstairs, correct. Might need that big gun. Robin does need that big gun, actually. Actually. Hopefully no one will come through this door and just chuck a grenade right there, because that, be, um, that would be pretty terrible. 
I'm thinking of killing this guy. This guy right here. I think more friendly fire will hurt us. Unless this guy actually has a grenade. I can't remember. I cannot remember if that guy has a grenade or not. Fiona Roy, or Rory, will uh, pick up that pulsar. I don't know how much she's going to be able to fight. Uh, this fight might be over by the time she gets back. Oh god, I, I am very afraid to hit this button right now. But I think we moved everyone. Could be wrong. I am wrong. Unnamed rookies need to be moved from upstairs to downstairs. Unnamed rookies need to be moved from upstairs to downstairs. Okay. God damn it. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Good! He did not. He may not have a weapon. He may not have a weapon. I would like to immobilize him if I can. Dr. O'Leara does have a, um, a stun grenade and um, why don't you put him in uh, to sleep there. Thank you Dr. O'Leara. That was Anton X Racer. He did have a pulsar. So Dr. O'Leara is now saving lives today. Is now saving lives today. And we do see one from here. All right. Got some uh, prime grenades on the Master Empires. Let's see how far he can get before he has to throw that puppy. I think he can make it to there and duck and then get extremely lucky and throw a pretty damn good grenade, but um, not enough. Okay, he does not have any more um, of that. But, um, let's see here. KK Mick needs to get the hell out of there. Moriarty can come around and maybe take a pot shot, but not worth it, really. I'm going to have him back up. I'm going to have him back up. I'm also going to have you back up as well. Because if they come around the corner and start shooting and land right here, I might be able to take a shot at them. Not sure if I can hit him from here. Seems as though I can't hit them from there. So, now the question is who has a weapon and how well can they shoot it? Ensign JG Atkinson can and do, did hit, uh, make a brilliant shot, but. Um, Did not kill anything. Not That cannot be said of Ensign Falco. That cannot be said of Ensign Falco, who had missed horribly. Absolutely horribly. We can uh, duck these guys here. I'm sure these guys are very happy to know that... Um, that uh, they, they didn't even get issued a weapon and okay you can't move Kiko just sit okay yeah I don't think that uh, anything's gonna happen this is this is a bad situation here is that primed no it's not Dr. O'Lear is also in grave danger grave danger indeed is there anybody else in the back lines that need to be moved Yes, we do have a Fiona. And a unnamed rookie. Well, a Fiona is also an unnamed rookie as well. Crete as well. Okay, this is going a lot better than the last base defense mission that we uh, attempted. But it's not over yet in the slightest. 
because we still have more aliens to kill. Turn five. Olira has gotten lucky again. I take that back. Oh, the Master Empires has died. Olira is actually alive. Wow. The good doctor. The good doctor. Needs to be a good scout there. Okay, we're going to have to do something about this. We're going to have to do something about this. J.G. Atkinson is going to have to do something about this. Yeti uh, has volunteered to step up here into danger and chuck this grenade in attempt of saving Dr. O'Leary's life. Seventeen time units. Twelve time units. Enough to duck. Okay. Yeti has put himself into grave danger um, to save the life of Dr. Ulira. I'm not sure if that's going to work out or not. Mainly because... Um, there's probably more aliens back there, and they will probably try to kill Dr. O'Leary anyways, even though there's a lot of smoke there. Master Empires has fallen, and I think at this point we really do need to uh, move these guys up uh, so they can help out next turn. I forgot to move the back line. Shit. So there are people... Um... Why are you berserking, KK Mick? We're actually winning the fight. No reason for this. Okay, our backline people missed the turn last time. But uh, they are coming through. And actually, Kenza is coming through with a, a pretty decent weapon for this. Dr. O'Leary still bravely walks forward and uh, has, is scouting. Yeti has another grenade, but... Um, Probably not going to be able to throw it this time. Probably not going to be able to throw it this time. No. Boy, I wish that Dr. O'Leary actually had a... Um, had something here. He does have a Sonic Pulse, but it's not primed. Does he have enough time to throw it? Yes. How about that? Take some of Dr. O'Leary's medicine, you alien bastards. There's another one. I did suppress alien panics. So, um... They could be very well panicking, and I wouldn't know. That was a very good shot from a, uh... APMO, I think. I wasn't sure what type of ammunition that was going to be whenever I shot it. I thought it was going to be high explosive. And I was afraid to see if Dr. O'Leary would actually uh, perish from a misfire. But as it turns out, um, that did not actually happen. And Dr. O'Leary is um, rather liking the uh, violence here, unsurprisingly. His life has been devoid of violence, as he had taken an oath of not harming anyone, but slowly coming over to the dark side of the force here. Slowly coming to the dark side of the force. Apparently fed up with uh, this crap and um, reevaluating life lessons. It's another one down. True Crisis has gone berserk, and the penalty for going berserk in my squad is because you get stunned. Okay, 
Okay, there's a man right there. Let's see if Kikaskia can uh, pull off another great shot. What? Equipment will not function above water. Well then... Well, I guess that's why they call it a hydro jet cannon, isn't it, Kikaskia? That is why they call it a hydro jet cannon. That's okay because um, Dr. O'Leary actually is going to hide in that corner there. Actually, everybody can just hide right now. I'm more worried about the uh, the panicking and the uh, back stabbing than the aliens at this point, honestly. I wonder what kind of ammo you have in yours. What kind of ammo is green? That's the question. That's the million dollar question. You're not going to be able to fire from there. You are out of ammo. <laughs> that is a dart clip. That is a dart clip, everyone. You do have a die grenade, though, JG. That could actually be useful. Something about die grenades. Someone said something about die grenades and how they should use them. So, so everybody said that I uh, should put them, put them on people's shoulders. So when they die, they just they're uh, they're kind of like um, what do you call it? You they, you become like. Um, A squid, sort of. That'll put some more smoke out there. See, Captain Robin is in trouble. I'll tell you that. Who knows what's going to happen. And f I think Fiona here is the last person who's like on the back lines who needs to come forward. Yep. Yep, that's the last one. See what they do. No panicking, no panicking. Okay, that's that's very good. That is very good. Oh, you do have a prime grenade. You're a perfect scout. Trying to take no survivors here, I'll tell you that. You would think that in the smoke they could just put their helmets on, but uh, I think they left them under their bed. The Aquanauts do keep their equipment in their lockers. And during a red alert, they're just told to grab anything you can and get to the front line. So they may have not grabbed their helmets. But everything's... Oh man, I don't want to say everything's going well, but everything is going well. Um, we're really beating them back here. We got a good defensive position. Yeah, that's going to happen. There's going to be mind control. That is going to happen. That is going to happen. Everything on the floor. There are four Panasonic pulses on the floor. Wow, Dr. O'Leary is really wrecking today. He is going to have four sonic pulses to throw soon. And there's another alien. How did you not see him? How did you not see him? Okay, I'm sure we can get a Sonic Parcel up there. I'm sure we can. We just have to um, find the right man for the job. Commander Moriarty actually just has a regular grenade, which is sufficient. Um, if I move you out here and turn... Oh man, that's going to be close. I'm going to try it. Oh, just enough. Oh, that was bad. That did not help. Okay, looks like we're not going to be able to throw a grenade at this, so let's actually try to shoot something. Uh, take a few snapshots. That hit, hit, oh, that hit. Oh, you hit Commander Moriarty in the back, didn't you? But did not even uh, make a scratch. Okay. It's a tough nut right there. Yeti, however, does have a grenade. He will throw it. How did you miss? 
Oh, it went down. Oh, it went downstairs. That went downstairs. I drop that. Not enough for an aim shot, but you get a snapshot in. Oh, rookies. I cannot stand rookies. You don't have a, uh, anything for that. 31 minutes we have been at the, in this fight. Ah, Captain Robin. Captain Robin is here to save the day with an auto shot. Captain Robin is not here to save the day. And he has accidentally shot Dr. O'Leara. Dr. O'Leara will back up. Captain O'Leara did not, in fact, save the day. I don't know how to get that guy. I can't... Sh I can't... Um, Sonic Pulse that guy. Cannot Sonic Pulse that guy. Come on. I think he's stuck. That's bad. Okay. Who was that? Okay, Dr. Lero is going to have to um, take care of that. He's going to take care of that right away. Dr. Lero also lost his uh, little thing. Yeah, that's not good. That is not good at all. Yep. Kikoski has uh, flipped the shit and um, Uh, went over the deep end there. We do got an alien right there. Not sure if we can do anything about that. Okay, we're gonna step up uh, Moriarty here. Maybe he can shoot a nice little auto shot into this alien here. Come on. Come on, guys. Oh, man. The aim is so bad. The aim is so bad. The aim is bad, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you can walk 16, okay? Walk 16, you're gonna drop it, and you're gonna step. And then Captain Robin is gonna pick it up and walk a little bit more to about Oh, I don't know, there. And hopefully throw it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, guys. Excellent work. Oh, boy. Here we go. More mind control going on. More ridiculousness. More killing. Dr. O'Leara has finally got flipped his shit. I might just want to just walk up to this guy and do that. Navigator. And they have big guns. Big guns that we have nothing, we have no clue what they are. Big guns. Ginormous guns. Let's not prime that yet. Let's not prime that yet. That could be catastrophic. We're going to move up. We are going to move up. Okay, Crete. I'm going to need you to throw that empty, not primed grenade right there. Right there. Okay, you already have one, but okay. 
Now you have another one. Can I move there? Yes. Yeah, we need to move people up. Dr. O'Lear has flipped his shit. Good thing he didn't go... Well, we can't really go berserk, really. And he can't really hurt anybody, because he doesn't have any weapons, I don't think. No, he just has his med kit. His trusty med kit. Apparently, too much death has... Um, Caused him to rethink his decisions about uh, harming innocent creatures, and now uh, he's going to go into uh, to panic mode. Maybe uh, Battle Bunny can talk him out of it. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was a bad one. Ensign Falco is down. Unnamed Rookie is down. Oh my god, Yeti's down. Where are they shooting from? Everybody's going berserk. Shit. Where are they shooting from? That's not good. There's another one. Good shot, but didn't really kill anybody. Where are they shooting from? Shit. Well, everybody needs to uh, kind of hide because I have no clue where the shots came from at all. I thought uh, we had cleared. Maybe this part isn't clear. Could be still more aliens up there in the vents. So we'll stay back here for now. Yeah, you do see something on the ground. Why don't you use that? What else? What is this? Calcinite. Are they made of milk? I don't know. I don't know. But we're probably going to have to stop it here. Um, I will pick this up next time on JSTank Plays. Open XCOM, Tear from the Deep, when we finish up either Die Horribly or Beat the Base Mission. Until then. I'll see you guys later. Laters.